Welcome to the PD Engine Conversion Funnel Overview Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a conversion funnel. A conversion funnel is an ordered sequence of page views or actions that you want your site visitors to take in order to reach an end goal. For an e-commerce site, this might be first arriving on the product category pages, then moving on to look at the product detail pages, then arriving on the checkout page, and finally arriving on the purchase confirmation page. PT Engine's conversion funnel allows you to design this sequence and track how many visitors make it successfully from one stage of the sequence to the next. Conversely, it also reveals how many visitors drop out of the sequence at each stage. With this insight, you can identify where visitors drop out the most and then investigate and improve these stages. To create a conversion funnel, click the settings icon on the upper left. Click conversions in the left panel. Then click the Add Conversion button on the upper right. Give your conversion funnel a name by inputting it in the conversion name field in the top left. In this case, we'll call ours e-commerce funnel. In the next row, specify whether the last step of this funnel or end goal is landing on a URL, a page within a page group, or completing a specific event. A page group is a group of pages that you put together in advance in PT Engine. Events are clicks on your site's elements such as buttons, images, and menus that you have specified to track in advance. To learn about setting up events and page groups, visit help.ptengine.com. In this example, we will select URL as our end goal. In the field below, specify the URL which visitors land on to finish the goal. Going off of the previous e-commerce example, our goal could be landing on the URL of the purchase confirmation page. Below the goal section, click the on-off toggle switch besides funnel. This brings up a new section below where you can define the first step in your funnel. Input the name of the first step in your funnel in the first field. In our e-commerce funnel, the first step could be landing on the product category pages. Choose whether visitors land on a specific URL or page group to complete this step by selecting URL or page group. If you selected URL, input the URL visitors should land on to complete this step in the box below. If you selected page group, select the page group visitors should land on to complete the step from the drop down list below. You've just added the first step in this funnel. To add another step, click the add button below and repeat the same steps. When you've finished adding all your steps, click Save. Note, in order to see data on your conversion funnel, you'll first need to wait for new visitors to land on your site and go through the funnel steps you set. The same steps we just completed also apply if you chose Page Group as the end goal for your funnel. However, you can also choose Completing an Event as the end goal. Click Event in the Goal field instead of URL or Page Group. In the field below, Choose the event which visitors should complete to finish the goal from the event drop-down menu. As before, input the name of the first step of the funnel. Then select the event visitors should execute to complete this first step from the event drop-down menu. As before, keep adding new steps until done and then click Save. Now that you've finished this section, we'd really love to hear your questions on both this topic and for other areas important to your optimization goals. Use one of the communication options listed here to ask your question. We would be thrilled to help. Thank you for watching the PT Engine Conversion Funnel Setup Tutorial. In the next video, we will show you how to view and understand the data in the Conversion Funnel you set up.